What's up guys, Jeff here, and today we got a brand new video for you. We're going to be taking a look at the top 10 invertebrates for your reef tank. And if you're new to the channel, this is where I talk about everything reef tank related. So if you love reef tanks like I do, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. And I upload a new video every single Sunday, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell. So back to our video where we are talking about invertebrates, and today we're going to be talking about some of my favorite invertebrates that I have added to my reef tanks over the years. Some of them have been merely for just conversational piece, beautiful, interesting addition to the reef tank. Others serve a purpose, and in my opinion, the ones that serve a purpose are definitely the ones that most beginners should consider first before getting into those decorative or conversational piece invertebrates. So let's jump into the top 10 invertebrates for your reef tank. And coming in at the number 10 spot is the dwarf red tip hermit crab. Now this shouldn't be confused with the red legged hermit crabs, even though that they are very similar in coloration. These guys do have a little bit more color and are a little bit more interesting which is going to make them a interesting addition to a reef tank. Not only are they going to be interesting and add a splash of color, they're also going to serve a purpose. And with hermit crabs, they do a great job of removing uneaten food. They also will uh, remove uh, something that died in the tank. So let's say a snail fell off the glass, wasn't able to turn itself over, which we'll get into in a little bit more detail further in the video, but hermit crabs do a tremendous job at removing uneaten food, things that have died in the tank, especially in those nooks and crannies that you really just can't get to where a water change isn't going to help or even being able to scoop something out. These guys will get into those hard to reach places, which makes them a great candidate for a cleanup crew. Now, as far as hermit crabs and how I add them to my reef tanks, I usually use drip acclimation. And as far as how many I'm adding to my reef tank, I'm a little old school. I usually add one per gallon and that's divided between my snails and my hermit crabs. So if I have a hundred gallon tank, I'm probably going to add 50 hermit crabs and 50 snails or maybe 75 hermit crabs and 25 snails. Great little invert that you can add to your reef tank that's going to definitely add some personality to it and also a splash of color and serves a purpose. It's going to help clean your tank. Check it out, the red-tipped hermit crab. Coming in at number nine on our top 10 invertebrates for your reef tank is the sand sifting sea star. Now these guys are pretty interesting and can do some pretty good maintenance for your tank. They're not the most colorful sea star out there, uh, but they definitely do a great job of turning over your substrate. So if you're one of those folks that likes to have sand in your tank, you're not one of those bare bottom folks, this is definitely a interesting invertebrate that is going to help keep your sand clean. They are considered easy to care for, peaceful, have a omnivore based diet, are considered reef safe. And these guys grow upwards of, I would say about three to four inches across, and they're gonna spend a good amount of their time actually hiding, so you're not gonna see them all the time. That's something that you definitely wanna make sure that you take into consideration if you're going to add one of these to your reef tank. Now, as far as acclimation, I always recommend drip acclimating your invertebrates, and I'd give it about three hours. That's usually enough time to properly introduce your invertebrate to the conditions of your water, and you're gonna find a lot more success if you use the drip method. And I'll put a link to that video in the description below if you wanna check out the way I go about drip acclimating my fish and invertebrates. Coming in at number nine on our top 10 invertebrates for your reef tank is the turbo snail. Now this guy is definitely one that I recommend. And the reason that I recommend the Astra snail is due to the fact that it's one of the few snails that actually can successfully flip itself over if it happens to fall off the glass or the rock work. Uh, been in this hobby for a long time and I've had a lot of different snails and there is nothing more frustrating than buying a bunch of snails and then adding them to your tank, then come back a day later and find four or five of them upside down or your hermit crabs have already had their way with them because this snail just basically died when you put it in the tank. So um, this snail has the ability to flip itself over, which is a huge thing because if a snail's just laying on its back, 
it's going to be a very quick and easy meal for hermit crabs. And that's definitely an important characteristic for a snail. And this one is probably one of the best. Coming in at number seven on our top 10 invertebrates for your reef tank is the skunk shrimp. Now this guy, I have a hard time picturing a reef tank without one of these types of shrimp. Now as far as care level goes, they're considered easy to care for, peaceful. They are carnivores, but I also have seen them eat uh, phytoplankton as well. They are considered reef safe, can grow upwards of three inches or so. And as far as tank size would go, you can really keep these guys in a five gallon or larger aquarium. They can get really, really big, which is really interesting when you see a large skunk shrimp. They also serve a pretty awesome purpose as well. They can help clean your fish and they'll set up little cleaning stations in the reef tank. And actually you'll see your fish swim up to the shrimp. The shrimp will jump onto the fish and just kind of like nip at them a little bit and help remove any parasites or um, any type of irritation that may be bothering the fish. And just a beautiful addition to a reef tank. Definitely worth the money, even though that $39 in my opinion, it's a little bit high for a skunk shrimp. I typically would be able to find one for about $20 to $25. I think that's a pretty fair price for these. Definitely awesome. Check them out. The skunk cleaner shrimp. Coming in at number six on our top 10 invertebrates for your reef tank is the serpent sea star. Now, as far as sea stars go, these guys are probably my favorite. Uh, they are definitely one of the most functional sea stars out there as well. Even though that most sea stars will, uh, you know, eat uneaten fish food or even if something has died in the tank and get into those weird little nooks and crannies, much like you would expect a hermit crab to. But is this something about a serpent starfish that I think is an amazing addition to a reef tank? They do a tremendous job of keeping the tank clean. They'll eat detritus. They're just a essential part of a cleanup crew. If you don't have one of these guys in your reef tank, I strongly recommend that you get one. Coming in at number five on our top 10 invertebrates for your reef tank is the pom-pom crab. Now, this guy is pretty interesting. Uh, definitely something that is not the normal crab that you would see in a reef tank. They are considered easy to care for, peaceful temperament, omnivore-based diet. They are reef safe with caution that really has a lot to do with its hands now when you look at its hands it may look like some pretty crazy claws going on there but that's not actually what is happening it has two anemones on its hands so you got a little bit of symbiosis going on there and essentially the crab uses these anemones for one defense and also it will use these anemones to mop up food detritus and then eat the food off from the anemones. Very, very interesting. They are a great addition to a reef tank, but they're definitely one that you want to use a little bit of caution with because they could potentially sting corals and other invertebrates with the anemones that he has on his hands. Definitely an interesting addition to a reef tank. Check it out, the pom-pom crab. Coming in at number four in our top 10 invertebrates for your reef tank is the blood red fire shrimp sometimes they're called blood shrimp sometimes they're called fire shrimp either way you cut it these are probably some of the most beautiful shrimp in the reef tank hobby they are considered easy to care for have a peaceful temperament carnivore based diet are considered reef safe and grow upwards of three inches they are probably one of the more stocky shrimp species that you can add to your reef tank and definitely a beautiful addition check it out the blood red fire shrimp coming in at number three on our top 10 is the rose bubble tip anemone these guys are in fact an invert go figure they are moderate care level semi-aggressive they are reef safe with caution uh, because they are known to sting their neighbors especially uh, if they decide to kind of move from their current location they have the ability to do that and certain precautions need to be taken if you want to keep an enemies in your tank you want to make sure that there's no little things that they can slip into or get chopped up by a pump i did recently put together an entire top 10 that was dedicated to anemones so if you want to check that out there's going to be a link in the description below we'll also have a little thing pop up right about here but definitely a beautiful addition and in a lot of cases actually will make a reef tank 
a little bit more reefy. Check it out. The Rose Bubble Tip Anemone. Coming in at number two on our top 10 invertebrates for your reef tank is the Electric Flame Scallop. Now, the Electric Flame Scallop has a beautiful bright red mantle and red tentacles, which is just really beautiful. Not only that, it has the ability to create what looks like electricity that shoots across the mantle and it almost looks like lightning bolts, which can be seen with the lights dimmed or off. And that is just absolutely astonishing. They are considered expert only and that has a lot to do with their care requirements. They are peaceful. They are filter feeders and are reef safe. Check it out. The electric flame scallop. And coming in at the number one spot on our top 10 invertebrates for your reef tank is the Maxima Clam. Now, these guys are aquacultured, and I'm going to tell you right now, I've actually bought one of these guys from Live Aquare, and it is one of the most beautiful and resilient clams I have ever owned. They are moderate care level. The colorations, you basically get what you get with them. Uh, they are filter feeders, so they're going to do a little bit of maintenance as far as removing particles from your water. And it's not a bad idea to feed these guys phytoplankton as well. They are considered reef safe and require high lighting and medium flow. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you want to learn more about the cleanup crew that you need for your reef tank, check this video out. I'll see you over there.